a royal crossroads, adapting to a modern prince. The British royal family stands at a crossroads. Prince Harry's decision to forge a new path, prioritizing his own family and personal fulfillment, has sent ripples through the monarchy. The royals must navigate this new reality with grace and understanding, recognizing that respecting Harry's choices is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to their strength and resilience. Harry's departure from royal duties, along with his wife Meghan Markle, sparked a media frenzy. These insights, often at odds with the carefully curated image of the monarchy, have challenged traditional perceptions and forced a re-evaluation of what it means to be a royal in the 21st century. The royals must find a way to bridge the divide, to reconcile their traditions with the realities of a modern world, where individuality and personal happiness are paramount. The path forward requires empathy, open communication, and a willingness to embrace change. Harry's choice, prioritizing family and fulfillment. Prince Harry's decision to step back from royal duties was a deeply personal one. He chose to prioritize the well-being of his wife and children, creating a new life free from the intense scrutiny and constraints of royal tradition. For Harry, the relentless media attention and the pressures of royal life took a toll on his mental health. His decision to step back was a courageous act of self-preservation, a recognition that his own happiness and the well-being of his family had to come first. Harry's choice reflects a growing awareness among younger generations of royals that they are entitled to a life beyond the confines of tradition and duty. This shift in perspective challenges the long-held notion that royal life is a privilege that supersedes all else. By choosing his own path, Harry has set a powerful example for future generations of royals, demonstrating that personal happiness is not incompatible with royal heritage. The Spare Conundrum, Outdated Traditions and Stifled Ambitions The concept of the spare is an archaic one, deeply ingrained in the history of monarchies. It relegates siblings of the heir to a life in the shadows, their destinies predetermined from birth. Prince Harry's life from a young age was defined by his role as the spare to Prince William, the heir apparent. While William was groomed for kingship, Harry's future remained undefined, his potential seemingly limited by his birth order. The spare is expected to support the monarch, to fulfill royal duties, and to uphold the family's image. However, they are often denied the same opportunities for personal and professional fulfillment. Embracing the unique talents and aspirations of all its members, regardless of their position in the line of succession, is essential for the long-term health and relevance of the monarchy. Bridging the Divide – Acceptance as the Path to Healing the royal family's response to Prince Harry's choices has been met with mixed reactions. While there have been public statements of support, there have also been reports of tension and strained relationships. It is crucial for the royal family to understand that accepting Harry's decisions is not a sign of weakness or a betrayal of their values. Embracing Harry's new life, with all its complexities and challenges, is essential for healing the rift and fostering a more genuine sense of unity within the family. Publicly acknowledging and supporting Harry's choices would send a powerful message, not only to him but to the world. It would demonstrate that the royal family is capable of evolving, of embracing change, and of putting the well-being of its members above all else. Ultimately, the path to healing lies in open communication, empathy, and a willingness to meet Harry halfway. Section 5. Supporting Independence, a new chapter for Harry and the Royals. As Prince Harry embarks on this new chapter, it is essential for the royal family to provide unwavering support for his independence. This means respecting his choices, celebrating his successes, and offering encouragement as he navigates the challenges of life outside the royal bubble. Supporting Harry's independence does not mean severing ties or distancing themselves from him. It means recognizing that his happiness lies in forging his own path, free from the constraints of tradition. The royals can demonstrate their support in tangible ways. Publicly acknowledging Harry's achievements, whether in his personal life or his philanthropic endeavors, would go a long way in affirming their respect for his choices. By embracing Harry's independence, the royal family can demonstrate their commitment to growth, understanding, and the enduring power of family. Section 6. The Winds of Change. Public Perception and Royal Evolution. 
Prince Harry's departure from royal duties has sparked a global conversation about the role of monarchy in the 21st century. The public's fascination with the royals has always been intertwined with a desire for tradition, stability, and a connection to the past. However, this fascination is evolving, becoming more nuanced and less accepting of outdated traditions. The public's response to Harry and Meghan's experiences has been largely sympathetic. Their willingness to speak openly about the challenges they faced, particularly regarding mental health and the pressures of royal life, has resonated with many. This shift in public perception presents both a challenge and an opportunity for the monarchy. Supporting Harry's independence is a step in the right direction, signaling a willingness to break free from rigid traditions and to prioritize the well-being of its members. Section 7. Redefining Royal Duty, Beyond Tradition and Formality The concept of royal duty has long been defined by tradition, formality, and a strict adherence to protocol. However, as the world changes, so too must our understanding of what it means to serve the crown. Prince Harry's journey highlights the need for a more nuanced and compassionate approach, one that recognizes the importance of personal fulfillment alongside public service. Traditionally, royal duty has often come at the expense of personal happiness. Harry's decision to prioritize his well-being challenges this traditional view, suggesting that duty and personal fulfillment are not mutually exclusive. Redefining royal duty means recognizing that service can take many forms. Harry and Meghan have demonstrated this modern approach to royal duty through their work with various charities and organizations. Section 8 Embracing individuality, a strength, not a threat. The monarchy has long thrived on a carefully curated image of unity and conformity. However, as society becomes increasingly diverse and individualistic, this approach risks appearing outdated and out of touch. Embracing the individuality of its members, rather than suppressing it, can strengthen the monarchy's connection with the modern world. Prince Harry's decision to forge his own path, to embrace his unique personality and passions, challenges the traditional mold of what it means to be a royal. His willingness to be vulnerable, to speak openly about his struggles and triumphs, humanizes him in the eyes of the public. This embrace of individuality is not a threat to the monarchy, it is an asset. By supporting Harry's choices, the royal family can signal their acceptance of individuality, not just within their own ranks, but within society as a whole. Section 9. A family united, respect as the cornerstone. At its core, the royal family is just that, a family. Like any family, they experience their share of challenges, disagreements and moments of tension. However, what sets them apart is their very public profile, with every action and statement subject to intense scrutiny. Navigating these complexities requires a strong foundation of respect, empathy, and open communication. The situation with Prince Harry highlights the importance of these values. Respecting his choices, even if they differ from the traditional path, is essential for maintaining a healthy family dynamic. Empathy is crucial for bridging any divides that may exist. Section 10. Towards a Modern Monarchy Lessons from Harry's Journey Prince Harry's journey offers valuable lessons for the future of the monarchy. His experiences highlight the need for adaptation, the importance of individual well-being, and the power of embracing change. By learning from these lessons, the institution can evolve into a more modern, relatable, and resilient entity. One key lesson is the importance of adaptability. The monarchy cannot remain frozen in time, clinging to outdated traditions that no longer resonate with the modern world. It must be willing to evolve, to embrace new ideas and perspectives, and to adapt to the changing needs of its members and the public it serves. Another crucial lesson is the need to prioritize the well-being of its members. Section 11. Conclusion, a future of understanding and growth. The British royal family faces a pivotal moment in its long and storied history. Prince Harry's decision to prioritize his own family and happiness has challenged traditional notions of duty and sacrifice. However, it also presents an opportunity for growth, understanding, and a redefinition of what it means to be a modern royal. By approaching this situation with empathy, open communication, and a willingness to adapt, the royal family can emerge stronger and more united.
Embracing Harry's independence, supporting his choices and learning from his experiences can pave the way for a more inclusive and compassionate monarchy. The world is watching, eager to see how this chapter unfolds. By choosing understanding over judgment, and by embracing change rather than resisting it, the royal family can ensure that its legacy remains one of relevance, resilience and enduring love.